you can tell under hurricane there's one is pulse, the other is a collection. That means collection is basic for different category of the content. For example, you can be a um, fashion, this kind of style person, a content creator. You can also make something related to your categories or quite different with your main category. Yeah, she quite have something. I think it's just um, clothes, right? And accessory like jewelry, earring, brisket, etc. I like the background music. <laughs> okay, let's check out the second one. Oh, I forgot. The first one, minimal style, she has this video, just one video has 115 like. And this video is uh, on uh, number one, so definitely something good. And this is Kamal P. Dog. <laughs> Lovely girl. I love her content and your caraway. And her account said her major is lawyer and also a blogger. And her content is three part. One part is a style, fashion style. The other is makeup. And third one is daily, uh, daily uh, content. Okay, she has, oh my God. <laughs> 110, um, 10, thousand okay and uh, she has collections i think you make it because she looks so sweet and very warm this kind of feeling i don't know you guys i like it why i'm not a man oh my god i think if i'm a man i'm quite charming <laughs> and check collection not yet so she, she did good job. So that's one point I don't agree. If somebody say Little Red Book, Xiao Hong Shu is the Pinterest, a totally different idea. This platform is first is uh, e-commerce very long time ago. This is their foundation. And second, they're social. So for example, girls, girls like, Oh, you buy a new cell phone. Oh, you buy a new uh, handbag. Where buy it? How does it look like? People, girls want to share this kind of experience and knowledge and tips. That's it. So this is the social. Let's go another one. Like this one, let's check out. Bruce Point. Mm -hmm. I like the background music. I can tell this is totally a brand. Yeah. Fashion brand for girls. It's called, let me see their name, S E Z A N E. So that's it. For brand, also can uh, create an account to build their audience and get the lead generations on different social media. Of course, China market is also the same. So let's check. They have three category. They have 51,000 followers. And they have three category. One is post. Okay. Oh. And the other is tag. Oh, I like this sweater. So let's check out what is tag. Uh, that means in this con in this vertical cat category, some uh, brands, their products will be tagged. You can click, you can click tag. Can I buy it? Let's see. Oh no, 
I cannot jump to their this brand uh, website. So this is the second point. Little Red Book is not Pinterest. So in this category, they just show their brand. Uh, if it's some person wear their clothes or bags like this, you can understand. I think this one is the clothes. Oh, their bags. Here you can see. Maybe this is their other partner brand for handbag. And the third category is collection. This collection just one with you. It means frequent QA. If you want to purchase by them because they are not located in China. Oh, that means if you have any question just leave a comment under this post. So this post you definitely know, just the, the top is the picture, right? With the brand product, and below is very short, very short descriptions, or we can say just the little uh, article. Okay, see, let's see another one. This is a very famous. <laughs> French uh, chef. He's also on Douyin a uh, long time ago. I think when I created Douyin, I also noticed him. He can speak Chinese. That's a very, very, very good point. Okay. Oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> mm -hmm. How to make quick? How to make cake with some? The same. So that means if you can speak Mandarin, which will help a lot. Hi, up. Three minutes later. And wait for another one minute. Done. Mm. I want one right now. Very soft. sugar and cream. Let's try it. Mm, yummy. Yeah, yeah, if you can speak Mandarin, that's very, that is a very big, big, very strong strength. And if you want to be a famous content creator in China market, because your audience, 95%, they only can understand Mandarin. Basically, of course, Canton, Cantonese, they speak another dialogue. And basically, 95% people can understand the standard Chinese Mandarin. If you want to learn Mandarin, you can check out my second YouTube channel here, just with my name, and also more about my dogs and my personal life.